A snowy preparation, Glenbirna event. So there are three events that are starting with the uh, Glenbirna update. So some like it hot, some like it cold event. Return of the Black Combo Card event. The Grand Guild Gathering event. So these are the three events. So some like it hot, some like it cold. So Thursday, July 13th after the maintenance until Thursday, August 10th, 2023 before the maintenance. During the event period, you will receive the quest Boulder and but colder. Talk to Snowbound Joe in Dumbarton Town Square. Register a main character. All these basic details, only one per account, resets daily at 7 a.m. Earn toasty tokens every day by logging in and clearing dungeons. So 10 toasty tokens will be given immediately upon logging in once a day. Each time you clear a dungeon, you will receive toasty tokens. The number of uh, tokens rewarded varies depending on the difficulty of the dungeon. Up to 50 coins can be obtained each day through clearing dungeons. Each day you will receive the quests Collect Toasty Tokens. After collecting 50 tokens, 10 additional Toasty Tokens are rewarded when you complete the quest. So it looks like you can get like 60 a day if you try really hard. So you lad advanced dungeons, those give out 10 Toasty Tokens. You lad hard mode advanced. Dungeons give out 20. Abyss Pika and Abyss Coil give out 20. Uh, Ulab Veteran Dungeons give out 30. Rabi gives out 40. Magmel Normal gives out 15. And Magmel on Hard Mode gives out 40. And Tectuin Normal gives out 15. Tectuin Advanced gives out 25. Tectuin Elite gives out 40. Trombass gives out 30. Trombass uh, Darker 70 gives out 40. Trombass Darker 100 gives out 50. And Glenberna gives out 40 on normal mode, and Glenberna on hard mode gives out 50. So, the Toasty Token Shop. Snowbound Joe has prepared warm gifts to overcome the bitter cold. So, let's see what he has in his shop here. So, Glenberna Reward Key Coupon. Use this coupon to receive Glenberna Rewards, even if the weekly limit has been reached. The coupon expires in 30 days from acquisition, okay? So, Glenberna bonus lifeline health coupon. Use this coupon before entering Glenberna to grant yourself and your partner an additional 20% lifeline health. Any pass selection box. A total of 8 can be purchased during the event period and they expire in 7 days, so this will let you basically get into any dungeon or whatever. So there's also the new Homestead Snowflower Garden. You can buy this. And then and then you can also get like combat EXP potions, soul stones, uh, speedwalk potions. And there's the new ice encrusted bag. This is an 8x8 bag. So this is a normal item bag so it's not a personal shop bag. And only one can be in the inventory at one time. So you can't have more than one of these. Make sure you have the inventory space for a 2x1 item in your main inventory before purchasing it. Or make space in your bank to store it. You cannot buy one if you already have one in your inventory. So new. Oncoming Frost Sequel Totem. All stats Sequel Totem grants plus 50 to each stat. Uh, this totem expires in 60 days. Temporary things like that are crap. So, Return of the Black Combo Card event. So this one is also going on from July 13th until August 10th. 
during the event. You will receive the side quest Black Combo Card Returns. Talk to Boost Joe in Dumbarton Town Square. Register a character. Only one character per account. All that basic stuff. Resets at 7. So you will receive Boost Joe's special training. This is about doing like shadow missions and tech doing missions. Boost Joe's growth goals. Boost Joe has also prepared five Boost Joe's growth goal quests. So try to achieve them one by one. Only the main character will receive the room the quests, so the character you registered with. Complete the quest objectives of the following quests to obtain the rewards. So the Grand Guild Gathering event is also back. So Thursday from July 13th until Thursday, August 10th, same as the other ones. Uh, the Grand Guild Gathering is back. During the event, you will receive the quest, the Grand Guild Gathering. Talk to Roy and Dumbarton, register a main character. You can only register one character per account. You will receive the following items after completing the Grand Guild Gathering, so 10,000 EXP and the Guild Activity Journal, which is a sword in your me inventory. In order to participate, your character must be in a guild. So if you're not part of a guild already, you might want to look into joining one if you want to participate in this event. If you are not in a guild, you can still receive Guild Activity Coins, but you will not gain Guild Activity EXP Points. If you quit a guild while participating in this event, the guild activity EXP points you've earned will be reset, so might not be a good idea to leave a guild during this event. If you quit a guild while participating in the event and rejoin another guild, you will be considered a new guild member and will need to wait three days to participate in certain parts of the event. Check Guild Activity EXP. You can check your individual Guild Activity EXP and total member Activity EXP points that have been obtained for the week. There are several ways to gain Guild Activity EXP points. Guild Activity EXP points resets every day, uh, every week on Thursday, 7 a.m. Please note that it can take up to 5 minutes for the Guild EXP update in the Guild Activity Journal. Claim your weekly reward. To achieve the weekly Guild reward, you and your Guild need to obtain a certain amount of Guild Activity EXP points. 5,000 or more. Okay, so you need to get 5,000 in total for and then 500 for each individual. So earn guild activity EXP and coins. To earn guild activity EXP and guild activity coins, you must participate in various activities. One way to earn EXP and coins is by clearing it in adventure journal missions. So open the event menu to view the dailies and the weeklies. Daily objectives reset at 7 a.m. Weeklies refresh at Thursday at 7 a.m., so after the maintenance on Thursdays. Challenge objectives will not be res will not reset. Uh, special guild missions that can that you can participate in with other guild members. Earn EXP coins. Speak to Roy. So some of these are eliminate like field raid bosses. You can enter solo or in a party with up to eight guild members. All party members must be in the same guild. If you are a new guild member, you will not receive guild activity EXP until three days have passed since you joined the guild. You can still enter the mission multiple times, but you can only receive the rewards once per week for each mission. So special guild buffs. 
During the event period, you will receive special uh, Power of the Guild Pride buff by regis after registering with your main character. New guild members can only acquire this buff after three days have passed since joining the guild. So yeah, I mean, like, I would join a guild today if you want to participate in this and you're not part of a guild already, because this update's coming out on, like, Thursday, so... Uh, three days would be, like, Friday sometime. When participating in special guild mission with the new guild member, the refreshing aura buff will be granted to the entire party. Two or more players must be in the party for the buff to be applied. Refreshing aura buff increases movement speed by 30%, reduces attack delay by 15%. So, Roy's Guild Event Shop. Looks like you can get recovery potions, soul stones, party phoenix feathers, special gem selection boxes, and fixed eye amples. That's for consumables. And then the special shop has uh, Shamala's Transformation Metal, the Aroma Bear. That is a... We already have that transformation. It, it is an old transformation. It already exists in-game. But it is uh, still cool to get if you don't have it. And growth supplies package, a style tab key for 30 days, and an enchant scroll. So rental shop, you can only purchase one of each weapon during the event. So this just has some rental weapons that you can use. But yeah, there's a lot of events going on with this uh, new big dungeon update coming out. So. This is to help you buff up so you can get into that new dungeon as soon as possible because Glenberna is going to be more difficult than uh, Crombass.